So, <laughs> last episode happened, we uh, ended up making out, Himari and I, in the middle of class. And for some reason, the teacher didn't care. Hmm. Well, anyway. Alright, keep heading out now. See you later, Tencho. Hi. What's got it? Finally get released from my work shift around 1 p.m. But, eh. Most of the day I was inside an air-conditioned mall doing easy stuff, so I'm not tired. I'm not doing anything with Himari today, so my mom's- and my mom's out. Guess I'll stop somewhere to eat then and head on- on- uh, blah, 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 blah. Guess I'll stop somewhere to eat then head on home. お母さん、今夜は私カレーがいい。もちろん人参は永久に抜きて。ああ、マイガード。あんたね。いつまでも好き嫌いしてると本気で嫁のもらえていなくなるわよ。おお、little oh, do you know? <laughs> Uh-huh. Hey. <laughs> Run into Himari and her mom at the main square or in the yeah, at the main square by the station entirely by chance. Yokosana's as excited as always, but Himari on the other hand just smiles a little embarrassedly upon seeing me. Uh, not right now, but that could change if you would fuck off. Uh, no, actually I just got off for my part-time job. And my mom's still at work herself, so I figured I'd waste some time out here before going home. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure she would. She says that, but I know for a damn fact she's overjoyed on the inside. I have no reason, no reason to decline, so I might as well join him. Um, if you don't mind that, I guess I'll come along. Yoko-san thus starts walking off while muttering to herself. <laughs> ah, the power of love does some strange things. Uh, just a question, Himari. But, are you aware of that big grin you've had on your face for a while? Kinda stands out, you know. Yeah, but do you want your mother to see that? And start questioning things, you know? <laughs> uh, I'm super happy too. <clears throat> you walk behind Yoko-san while secretly holding hands. I was actually thinking during work that I wanted to see Himari. Just little coincidence is like a miracle for me. Nice. That's the idea. <laughs> well, no, duh. She's been chopping up the carrots into ridiculously small pieces in, the, in a corner of the chopping board. It seems she was trying to make them as small as physically possible. So she wouldn't have to taste them, but her plans were thwarted in an instant by Yoka-san. He's right next to her. Uh, I 
<clears throat> ah, excuse me. She has a point, even though carrots are vegetables, and they do go together in, f in a fried, fried way, you know? What's the point? It's, gonna, it's all going to be one color coming out. Maybe. Oxidized vitamin C. Hmm. We like to know our enemy. As Green Day once put it. Uh, we're going to be having fried vegetables with pork and rice as a, as a side. Pork as a side. That, uh... Doesn't make sense. I was asked whether I preferred beef or pork, and I answered pork, so we're having pork. Yeah, I'll take either one. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that does seem kind of funny, you bastard. Himari threatens me with her smile. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if I said this in the intro, but we got threatened last episode with um, chili powder and Tabasco sauce, a, f a mouthful of it. Damn it, you! I'll eat your share of carrots. So just calm down, would you? <laughs> so she's just supposed to ex supposed to get over something she hates. It's like me saying I should get over my my dislike of ham. Yes, I don't like ham. Or almost all alcohol. Those two have no correlation whatsoever, but I said them anyway. Anyway. Um, not quite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold your horses. I know how you feel, but do you want Yoko-san overhearing that? God damn. Uh. Um, Amari? <laughs> Fuck! I was about to shit my pants there! I said it kind of softly, but I, if I heard that right, she about just dropped a bombshell. Yeah, how'd that work out for you? Where's your... Where's Amari's father? Where's my father, actually? Hmm. At what point is she just gonna snap? Oh, I think she'd be very shocked. She legit drop that on her, or she quite jump for joy and faint at the same time. For some reason, Yoko-san really likes me a whole lot. 
So though I highly doubt she'd be upset if she knew we were the if I were the one her daughter was dating and doing the dirty with, but still. There's part of me that feels kind of guilty. <clears throat> Just the other day, I was having having the dirty with her daughter, and she, <laughs> she got pretty into it. Yeah, there's absolutely no way I could tell her something like that. I've known her ever since childhood, so in a sense, she's basically like a second mom to me. Motherfucker! Now I'm remembering everything from that night. Okay, are we about to have any flashback? Seeing Amari next to her, seeing Amari there next to her mom, she looks terribly sexy for some reason. God damn it! I can't help myself. Maybe that's stemming from that sense of Im immorality in my mind. Inside my heart, it's pretty Okasan that I'll treat her daughter well, and we have. <laughs> あんたがキスしてるところなんて全く想像できないんだけど。失礼だよ。私だってキスくらいできるもん。へえ、よくに自信満々じゃない。でも私が言いたいのは下手そうっていう意味よ。あんたのキスなんてどうせ逼迫す
私に料理うまくなれって言ってるあーボーイ<笑> well, to be honest, you were the one that poured the rice down the sink during our、um, our outdoor cooking exercise. Wait, don't just go making depressing assumptions. Painfully aware of the fact that Himari's bad at cooking. And I'm not much better myself, so yeah. That's an issue the two of us will have to get past in the future. But yeah. We'll just have to help each other out so we can improve our cooking. If we end up living together eventually, that's a problem we'll need to solve whether we like it or not. What's wrong with that? What? What's something wrong about that? You don't break up anytime, and. Definitely don't think we will.、Uh, I figure it'll come to that eventually, right? To live together. <laughs> First, we'd get permission from both our parents. Then, look for an apartment and then move in together. At that time, we may still be students or we may be working already. Either, we're, either way, we'd probably be splitting up the housework. Why would, why would we need permission from our parents if we're not in school? Knowing Yoko Sana, I feel like she'd want us to get married first before we start living together. Hmm. Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.Hmm.
Assuming that we get married, that would mean I'd be spending practically my whole life with Himari. Hell, from what my mom told me, we even played together as toddlers, before we could even walk and stuff. So in that sense, yeah, it'd be pretty much our whole lives. Thinking about it like that, it feels almost like one in a million chance that things would turn out this way. I wonder what our kid would turn out like. They inherited half of each of our characteristics. I feel like that child would be a world of trouble to deal with. Hamke Hama Hammy Ham Ted. She calls over in the direction of Cage of a cage placed in her room. Oh, that, that's right. I almost forgot. If Mari and I started living together, naturally those hamsters are gonna be joining us. I'm glad to see your naming sense is still as atrocious as ever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not at all. They're great. Mary's taste when it comes to pet names has always been catastrophically bad. I remember I used to have this turtle as a kid and she tried to give it a bizarre name too. I can only imagine. Uh oh. Wait. All the other ones' names start with Ham, and you got then you got Masako. Oi, Masako! Oh, great. For some reason, there's one that has an actual normal name. <laughs> you have fucking Hamke, Hama, and all this shit. Then there's just Masako. I just what? How does that make sense? And Masako feels kind of left out of place among all the ha the Hams. Did you name that one? Knowing her, she probably would have named the other one Hamtaro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you got that catastrophic taste when it comes to names from Yoko-san, huh? Huh. <laughs> She points at her beloved hamsters. Huh, simple. And it, I just have to play it safe and use something cute like food, food names. First thing about your names, Himari, is that they're just plain lazy. This Hama and Hammy stuff? It's way too close to people's names. So? I'm gonna go with, like, food names and stuff like that. The most important thing when it comes to pet names is that they sound cutesy. No, actually, you, gotta, you go a step further from there. This guy here, call him Chips, and this one here, Jerky. Well, they could be snacks of the right animal. I mean, hey, Chips, how's it going? Hamasha! <laughs> oh, he really likes. He really seems to like my name. Mary desperately tries to rescue Hom K from my brainwashing. Tears in her eyes. Oh, you poor girl, you. Pets register their names based on intuition, not on the owner's wants. Uh, sure. Hey, Chips, look over there for a second. 
Oh, he turned over more enthusiastically this time. He's really digging my name. Yeah! Mario begins to aggressively rub chips against her cheek. Sorry, baby, but that guy's name is already set in stone as chips. What am I supposed to use then? Does anyone else have hamsters with with uh, ham in their names? All of them. I had I had a couple of hamsters, but none of them had ham in their name. Back scratcher break in there. Yeah, I had a, I had a family of hamsters. Um, for some reason, they all got sick, one after another, and they all died one after another. One of them sur, one of them survived a lot longer than the others, though. It's weird. I mean, you'd still get mad at me either way. Did, did she just say Yoshiyori? Oh, I see. Then let's come up with a genuine person name. Hiroshi! <laughs> The fella is Fujioka Hiroshi. Oh my god. These guys, these guys that got full bios and everything. That fella is Fujioka Hiroshi. 56 years old. His hobbies are horse racing and gambling. Recently, he's also started taking an interest in boat racing. And he's hoping to use the money his grandson got on his birthday to win it big. <laughs> Himori vehemently rejects my proposal. Hmm. In this case, let's ask Hammy himself what he thinks then. Nah, yeah, Hiroshi. You like the name Hiroshi better than Hammy, don't you? Hamsha! Wow, that's a deep voiced hamster. hamster. Oh, pardon me. Again. Oh, see that? Totally loves my name. Yeah! How does her How does her mother not hear her yelling? Uh-oh. I don't see why not. You mess with her all the time. Mori frantically clings to Yoko-san in tears. I guess my names really must have set her off. It's well beyond the point of plain dissatisfaction. She's a complete disarray. Ah, don't worry about it. I'm already used to it. Hiroshi <laughs> And that explained the situation to Yoko-san, since I naturally started to feel sorry for Himari at that point. Half in tears, Himari continued to incessantly call her hamsters by their original names, like she's trying to imp imprint them. <clears throat> how, 
I'm sorry, okay? I won't try and change their names again. Yeah, you will. God, talk about a resentful player. Yeah. But yeah, if she ever becomes a mom someday, I guarantee she'll treat her kids like those hamsters. Doting on them, being super overprotective, etc., etc. Hmm. Oh. Oh, so she does have a father. Huh. Himari's dad wants to see me? Oh my god. Yada, I don't think I can sleep over at a girl's house at this age. Well, what the hell else can I, should I see her as? Upon hearing that, her expression turns half happy, while the other half is still upset over the whole hamster thing. Sleeping over would mean we'd be able to spend more time with Himari, so in all honesty, I'd love to just say yes, but... Yeah, I don't know. Damn it. I the pause the episode again. Uh... Okay. It's been quite some time since I last saw Himari's dad. I know that he's always felt a bit displeased with the fact that he's always the only male, or that he's the only male in their family, so it makes him feel lonely. Gosh, I wonder how big of a surprise it'll be for him just to see me here once he comes home from work. Mario suddenly pulls up my shirt from behind. Yeah, I can feel kind of bad about imposing on you guys like this, but it doesn't mean I'll get to spend more spend the day with you. She she won't. <laughs> she hugs me from behind, so I guess Himari's real feelings do show when Yokosan isn't around. She really is happy about me staying over. It's funny. I was fully ready for my evening to just consist of doing jack shit at home. Yeah, that's my evening every night. When I'm not when I'm not streaming, which basically is every night now. But now, through pure chance, I'm over at my girlfriend's house, and it looks like it'll be a lot of fun. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to pause the episode again. And I'll be back. It is now two days later. IRL. And we're still at Himari's house. And Himari's father has entered the room. Reminds you of Yoko. Hell, the only thing she hasn't done that Yoko does is get plastered and... Well, really that's about it. And not try and get friends to get together in a relationship simply because... 
<clears throat> yeah. The only, only things that Himari hasn't done that Yoko does every given opportunity is get plastered and try to get the, her... Um, try to get her friends together at all at any cost. Or in this case, it's Yoko's daughter and her friend's son. And I can attest to that. She can have a pretty foul mouth at times. <laughs> <clears throat> this is your fault. Not really. Uh, we're already done with dinner, and I'm now keeping Himari's sad company as he enjoys an evening drink. TV's off, though. We're just chatting with one another. I already took myself a bath, so I feel nice and refreshed. Himari's sitting next to me in these oddly cute pajamas. <sighs> Oh dear god, it's... You're just like Yoko! <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <laughs> Scrum diddly umptious. Wow. Hey, uh, Himari. How about you come? How about you become a girl that matches black tea and sweets for a change? Wow. Eh? <laughs> You've been taking a kid to a bar? I mean, granted, if it's a sports bar and, and a bar and grill, for that matter. But if it. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> we all get our interests from one or both of our parents, mostly. <laughs> See? Come to think of it, I remember how our snacks or field trips would always consist of stuff typically eaten with booze. There was this one time where she even tried feeding her dried squid to those goats at a petting zoo. And the teacher had to stop her. <clears throat> Sorry, I just had I just had milk. It's now. Oh fuck, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> I was gonna wake up as soon as my sister left for work, however. Me being the lazy fuck that I am, I slept in for another hour, and now I'm behind. Unbelievable. <laughs> 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 ありがとう。うん、と。それじゃあお客様用の布団はどこに敷こうかしらね。しかなかれるね。マリーズルームシー。俺と同じ部屋でもいいぞ。え、ウェイ、これ。ダメ。ん。ああ。ひまわり、what <笑> どうしたんだ、ひまり。じゃあ、どこにしたらいいんだ? Oh, boy. 
あ、あーあれ、えっと、それは…ひまわり only realizes her slip of the tongue after that fact. All too late. Yep. I, I mean, the thing is, we haven't told him yet that we're that. <clears throat> God damn it! The only thing is, we haven't told him yet that we're a couple, so there's no way we'd be sleeping in the same room. Heh. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Ah yes, the typical father snoring louder than. Louder than sin. たぶん同じ部屋にしたら眠れなくなって可哀想っていうか。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
Yeah, kinda. This can't settle down when Himari is right here next to me. The bizarreness of things had me pretty bewildered at first. At the end of the day, yeah, a situation like this is gonna make make a guy pretty, you know. <laughs> yeah, Himari. Can you scooch a little closer over here? <laughs> well, yeah. A little. Not me per se, but my <laughs> Yeah, but the but the little guy down south. <clears throat> yeah. I get to smell that wonderful smell of yours. Mm. That she innocently latches her innocently latches herself onto me. She happily cuddles up to me under the blanket. Here she must be feeling at ease, thinking I won't do anything through her tonight. Oh my god. It's fucking impossible! I'm not gonna be able to resist! As of course he isn't. I feel sorry for her, but at this point, I need to have... <clears throat> oh, fuck's sake. I feel sorry for her, but at this point, I need to have sex with her, so I, I make up my mind. Imari? Nani? Okay, um... I didn't think I'd, I'd have to pause it so early in the game. By in the game, I mean this part of the episode, but I'm gonna have to, so I'll be back. <clears throat> well, that got <laughs> intense really quick. <clears throat> so, we began with a good old finger bang, and then we went to the... Oh, I forget I forget what the position is called, but we did it from the back. And yeah. Um <clears throat> Meanwhile, I'd like to think that Yoko is in the next room going, Yes! Yes! Do it! Our plan is working. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. <clears throat> Someone probably did. I don't know. Good question. Those DCs do seem kind of thin to me. After our sex is over with, we lay on the bed keeping our voices silent and our eyes open to see if anything can be heard from the room over. I'm undeniably a little anxious at the thought that they might have heard Amari's moans. <clears throat> but, well, it is in the middle of the night. I haven't heard a peep from their room yet, so I think it's safe to say we're alright. Yeah, certainly did. Also, as you can... As you can hear, I turned up the sound during the age scene so I could... So it didn't sound so quiet for you guys. <clears throat> when I... Resumed the proceedings, as it were. Oh, sorry, I... Oh, pardon me, I got super... I got super horny and I kind of lost control there. And we'll just do that. Okay. Yeah, he's only got eyes for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hearing that makes me happy as well. First time, huh? After saying that, she gives me a bright smile full of joy. Really do, do owe Yoko-san for letting me sleep in the same room tonight. No complaints. <laughs> I wonder if this is going to be a nightly routine for us once we live, move in together. Uh, <laughs> 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 I 
守ってくれてるの yeah, I don't see why not. What need is there to ask? Shouldn't that answer be clear as day? Crazy for you. Love for you feels like it has no limits. Naturally, I can't find any reason not to. Hell, I feel like I love you to the point that I'd just end it all if you'd opted not to not spend your life with me. Good. After exchanging a final goodnight kiss, we slowly drift into sleep. At this point, I love her so, so, so much. No matter how many times I tell that to her, I feel it'll never be enough. <clears throat> ah, pardon me. <clears throat> Alright, so... We had us a little sleepover, we met Himari's, uh, father, and, well, found out a little bit more about Himari that I probably shouldn't mention here, because it was, uh, revealed during the age scene, and, well. Anyway, next episode, we're in the brunt of summer. I wonder what's going to happen next, but we're going to have to find out next time, as I said. Until then, don't be addicted to your significant other, especially if it's only like Himari or any of the other girls we've met so far, and keep on rocking.